The new Cat D7 Dozer is officially here, and with more power, more weight, and potentially huge productivity gains, Cat has also equipped this new model with a high drive undercarriage design. Hey everyone, welcome into Con Expo 2020 here in Las Vegas. I'm Wayne Grayson, and you're watching Equipment World, where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, and trucks. In this video, we'll be talking about the Cat D7 and all of the changes and improvements Cat has built into this new dozer. Let's get into it. So as has been the case with all of Cat's machine releases in the last year or so, this new dozer is subject to the new naming convention that Cat has adopted that will drop letters from model names. So as such, this new D7 replaces the D7E and the former D7R. So one of the first differences right off the bat that you'll notice between the new D7 and the former D7E is that the new D7 has a high drive undercarriage design. And Kat says this design provides a smoother ride, better stability thanks to a lower center of gravity, longer track life, and easier clean out of accumulated dirt and other material thanks to all that room between the track and the roller frame. Dozer product manager Sam Meeker also told us that this high drive undercarriage design was highly requested by customers. So honestly, a lot of customer feedback on that, right? Um, customers are demanding, especially in this size of dozer, they want to be able to get in and do a little bit of that heavier work. It's more of that high impact stuff. So we're talking about getting in the rock and we're talking about getting in the heavy, you know, the heavy push, uh, even forestry work and things like that, where you do get a lot of high impact. Um, need to get that sprocket off the ground because whenever and whenever you got a low drive tractor, and we have low drive tractors too, so we, we know about them, but in a big dozer like this, uh, whenever you're ba banging that sprocket against the ground, it's it's really sending shock waves up through the machine. Not only you know damage to components, but also damage to that operator, right? So we, that's that's been the key thing has been getting that up there so we can smooth that ride out for the operator, especially in those higher impact type of uh, type of operations that they get into. You know, and and on top of that too. When you get into a, a dozer like this, you really are in a production earth moving environment. So high drive helps us to, to get a little bit more weight in the front of that tractor. So when we do get on the blade, you've got good blade penetration, you're loading the blade fast. When you get the blade loaded fast, you're right into your, your push cycle quicker. And it really does help with your productivity quite a bit. So, you know, high drive giving us the ability to, to place that roller frame where we want to and get a little bit more weight on the front of this tractor for, for better cutting and, and better uh, carrying capability. Cat says the high drive undercarriage design is also easier to repair and rebuild thanks to a modular component design. The D7 is going to be available in standard and low ground pressure configurations with a variety of blade and track shoe choices. Obviously under, undercarriage is going to be uh, heavy duty XL undercarriage, uh, heavy duty extended life. So what we do with the undercarriage that's a little bit different is this right here. We, uh, when, we, when, we push, when we push the link onto the pin, there's a groove in the end of this pin. And so we press this material down into that group, and what it does is it locks the pin and the link together so that it keeps those links from wanting to walk off. Traditionally, when you get into high impact where you're really bending these shoes and, and moving them a lot, uh, what will happen is, is those links will start to kind of work their way off, and they start to work their way off of the off of the pin. When they do that, they lose the seal, the oil comes out, you know, joint's gone, and, and boom, you're done. But uh, this HDXL, and this is going to be on the D5, D6, and D7. It already is on the D5 and the D6, um, and the D8 as well. That helps to, to lock that pin on there, so it really helps to improve undercarriage life. So last year, Cat unveiled its new D6 dozer. It's really been the first dozer release of this new next generation lineup of dozers. That new D6 felt a little bit too close in terms of productivity and capability to the D7E. So on this new D7, Cat has bumped up the weight horsepower and blade size to move this new dozer further away from that D6 and closer to the D8. So in particular, one of the things that we needed to do with the D7 size of dozer um, was as, as we've grown the D6 and the D6XE, that tractor's gotten quite a bit bigger, right? So we needed to, to separate the, the D7 out from that a little bit. So in terms of sliding it up the curve on weight, sliding it up the curve on horsepower, and of course coming with that is gonna be the you know the drawbar pull and the, the productivity with that as well too. So 
just trying to space that out between the D6 and the D7 a little bit more. Uh, this is one of the key things behind uh, behind why we did that. The D7 is powered by a Cat 9.3B engine delivering a 12% bump in horsepower to 265 horsepower. And it features a fully automatic four-speed transmission like the one found on the new D6 and the D8T. Cat has bumped up the weight of the D7 by about 6%. The machine now weighs in at a range between 62,000 and 65,000 pounds, depending on the configuration. Blade capacity on the D7 has also increased by 10%. Now, in addition to all of these spec bumps, the new D7 also features higher drawbar pull and improved winch and ripper performance. Now, the end result of all of these spec bumps is that CAT says you'll be able to move about 8% more material with the new D7 than you were able to with the D7E. Now, one of the things that Sam was kind of telling us is that some people may be tempted to look at this new D7 and the high drive undercarriage design and say this is just a rebadge of the D7R, but that's not the case. First of all, the D7 provides an 11% productivity boost over the D7R while being 8% more fuel efficient. Plus the blades on this new D7 are larger than those found on the D7R and it has the four speed automatic transmission that the D7R lacks. The D7 also features the upgraded redesigned cab found on the new D5 and D6 dozers. The cab features more space, better visibility, a highly adjustable seat and controls for more comfort, and a 10 inch touchscreen display. Yeah, there's tons of stuff in the cab that, uh, that it really is a, a change from the old models. Um, and uh, the D7E had a nice cab, I'm not gonna lie. Nice big cab, that single post down the center, we had awesome visibility around there. And so on, a, on the D7 size of tractor, we were kind of just trying to retain that get great visibility that we have on that machine. So um, what we did with the D7 cab, obviously the exact same as the D5 and the D6 cab. So uh, bigger seat, right? A little bit wider seat. Um, it's got a bit more adjustments on it to you know help that operator get a little bit more comfortable. In terms of the premium seat, it's heated and cooled. So all your controls are able to slide back and forth and up and down on your armrest. So you got lots of options in terms of that. Uh, airflow in the cab. So running that air from the back, uh, you know, that, that air conditioner condenser up back there where it's nice and clean uh, and, you know, in that, you know, kind of in a cleaner environment for that air conditioner. We've always always kind of been working our way towards that on machines. Uh, running that air through the, the, the headliner down on the B post up front there. So we're getting that air right on the operator where he needs to be. Uh, bigger air handling system in the cab and so it allows us to have higher pressurization in the cab as well too. That's, that's a key thing there as well. So, um, displays right so your your main 10 inch display in the tractor color touch screen lots of capability in that for setting up your application profiles and setting that dozer up the way you want to of course that's your main display for uh, slope indicate and slope assist our basic 2d grade control system um, so uh, you know then of course when you get that Grade control. If you do get 3D grade control, you get the second display down below there. So you got two 10-inch color touchscreens uh, to be able to, to run all of your grade and, and of course the tractor and the uh, you know all the features and whatnot in the machine. Cat says a high-definition rearview camera is standard equipment on the new D7. The other half of the story on this new D7 is technology, and specifically there are some potentially huge productivity gains that can be had if you equip this machine with some of several new technology features. What we've done in the in the dozer world is we will have what we call the ARO with assist package. And so it includes the ARO, which would allow you to put on a grade control system later on, such as a blade mounted, laser, GPS, UTS, any of those. And then it also includes slope assist. Okay, so um, kind of a, in, as we talked about the, the, the kind of our grade control ladder or technology ladder, slope indicate, standard, uh, uh, stable blade standard and slope assist of course built in with that ARO and then really your next step up is going to be the full 3D grade control the cat grade with 3D so we have kind of packaged it together make it a little bit uh, you know a little bit a little bit easier for dealers and customers to understand what we've got and in general honestly most of our dealers are ordering ARO with assist machines so you're typically going to have slope assist and ARO on a machine ready to go when making use of these technologies, CAT says operators can increase productivity by up to 50% on the D7 over the D7E. Yeah, so so when we when we were talking about how we would measure, you know, what grade control does for a customer, honestly, we went and we talked to a lot of customers about it and said, all right, what, what are you guys doing and, and what, what are you doing for grade control compared to what you did before and how has it affect your business? And to be quite honest with you, customers time and time again are telling us it's between you know 20 50 70 percent faster and and more productive than what they had before so let me give you a quick i give you a quick story from uh, one of my favorite customers back in illinois 
And, uh, and he told me that when he first started to use grade control, he rented it on a D6N, all right? So uh, needed a D6N, and the only one that, that uh, his local dealer had was one with grade control on it. And so he's like, all right, I'll give it a shot. He was building a church parking lot, okay? So he planned the entire week for it. And Wednesday at noon, he put that tractor on a trailer and took it back. He literally got the job done in half the time because of the technology. He wasn't overcutting. When he came back in to spread his material in and compact it, he did it at exactly the right grade. And so we just get you know anecdotal comments from customers all the time about how it's doubling their productivity and you know or or 50 better. So we kind of just settled on that 50 as a good number. So I I would say this though in terms of uh, the types of jobs that I've been on and seen. I would say that technology is one of those things that can make your operator anywhere between 0% and 200% better. And it really depends on the operator, depends on the job, the materials that you're working in, uh, a lot of lot of different uh, different things that go into that. So it certainly is you know, customer by customer and job by job dependent. CAT will be offering waste slash landfill, forestry, and pipeline configurations of the D7 from the factory. And each of these specialized configurations are heavily modified with purpose-built components, application-specific undercarriages, and specialty blades. So that will wrap it up for us here with the new CAT D7 at the Caterpillar booth at Con Expo 2020. Let us know what you think of this new machine in the comments below. We always love to hear your thoughts and questions. And if you like this video or found the information in it useful in any kind of way, do us a favor and hit that like button below. It always helps us out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, and trucks, hit the subscribe button below and be sure to turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.